Matt Murphy here with Dave Cohn, talking about some of our favorite productivity improvements that they've added to AutoCAD. Object snap tracking, for example. Here's a case where people are still drawing construction lines and then snapping new geometry to these construction lines and then erasing those lines later. Yeah. I mean, you talk about a feature, it's been in AutoCAD for what, about seven releases now? Where you can just move your cursor over an object, acquire that point, and move your cursor away from it, and you immediately see that little object snap line, a tracking line, and you can track off of any object that you would normally object snap to, and yet people are still drawing construction geometry and erasing it. And if they just learn how to use this tool, they'd save themselves so many steps, they'd be so much more productive over the course of the day. You know, reducing clicks and picks is how you become more productive with That's this right. product. So, show us how it's done. Yeah. Object snap tracking is a powerful tool used in conjunction with object snaps that lets you place geometry precisely without having to first draw construction geometry. In this example, the circle was created with its center located six units from the corner at an angle of 45 degrees from the bottom side of the rectangle. You do not need to create construction lines. There's a much easier and faster way to do this using object snap tracking. I'll erase the circle. Remember that with object snap tracking, when I start a command that prompts me to specify a point, I can move the cursor over existing geometry until I see the object snap glyph and tooltip, and then move the cursor away from the object to track from that object snap point. I don't click on the object, I just move the cursor over the object until I see the glyph. By default, when I move the cursor away to track from that snap point, the cursor tracks at orthogonal angles of 0, 90, 180, and 270 degrees. But if I right click on the polar tracking button and choose settings from the shortcut menu, notice that in the Object Snap Tracking Settings area of the Polar Tracking tab of the Drafting Settings dialog, I can change the default Object Snap Tracking behavior. By default, Object Snap Tracking tracks along orthogonal angles only. But if I select this radio button and clear this checkbox, now AutoCAD will only track along the increment angle of 45 degrees. Now let's draw the circle. I'll start the circle command by clicking the circle tool in the draw panel of the home ribbon tab. Then I'll move the cursor over the lower left corner of the rectangle until I see the end point glyph and tooltip. Then I'll move the cursor until I see the dotted alignment line. Notice that I can still see the glyph and tooltip shows me that I'm tracking from the end point at an angle of 45 degrees. Then, using direct distance entry, I can type 6 and press enter to specify the center of the circle 6 units from the corner at an angle of 45 degrees. Finally, I'll specify the radius of the circle, in this case one unit, and press enter to complete the command. And AutoCAD immediately draws the circle positioned exactly where I want it. 